Hello everybody, so uh, I am back and I want to show you another little neat gadget that I made. Uh, this was mainly driven, driven because I wanted to measure phase shift, uh, something like uh, reactive power draw and yeah, harmonic distortion, uh, all kinds of uh, power condition uh, parameters when driving a large Tesla coil off a main power supply. Um, so what I did was I got this uh, Merlin Sherin PowerLogic PM700. I found this pretty cheap on eBay. And um, it's put in a small enclosure here. It takes 230 volt AC power. Uh, inside there is uh, three current transformers and some terminals, nothing else. Uh, I made this so it could be used uh, with up to 32 amp CEE connectors and with a few adapters I can also use this with 16 amp which is legal enough. Adapters are not illegal in itself, it is just illegal to use adapters without a suitable fuse in front of the cable size. Now what, what this can um, is quite a few neat things. So let's first uh, turn on the load. Once again I use my 9 kilowatt heater here. So if we turn it on, all three faces on, full power draw. And as we can see here, it measures the face-to-face uh, -face voltage, 13 amp power usage, the current consumption. And we can see it draws 9 kilowatt of power. And then, as we can see, the kilowatt per hour also goes up steadily. So we can click through here, we can see the voltages between the three phases. We can also see the voltages between phase and neutral. Here we, we can see that uh, we are drawing 9 kilowatt and it's and the phase shift is not much worse than it is 9 kilovolt ampere too. If we look at the power drawn per phase, we can see it's 3 kilowatt. We are not drawing any reactive power. So if we go here, we can also see the the energy consumption so far, but that's no not much different from the front page. But we can also see the reactive power consumption per hour and the kVA per hour. We can also see that the power factor is almost one, which makes sense when this load is purely resistive. We can also manage, monitor the total harmonic distortion per phase. We can also see it phase to neutral or at the current. It can also measure some minimum values, maximum values, minimum current draw and maximum current draw. So this is starting up the cold heating elements, it would draw 29 amps. It also has some operating timers. But other than that, that is about it. It also has some uh, demand and peak demand, but this is more historical uh, data, so nothing to show yet. So that's about it for this small box which can be used to measure power quality.